Hey everyone, today what I want to do is show you how to set up the payment request feature in Chargent and uh, you're going to do that in five easy steps. We're going to set up the Visual Force pages, configure the force.com site, we're going to enable the site Visual Force pages, we're going to assign guest user license, and then we're going to apply permission sets. Keep in mind the payment request feature is only going to be available in the sites edition and platform edition. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is upload your logo because when you create the Visual Force pages, we're going to want to customize that. Um, and I want to show you how to do that. So the first thing we want to do is upload our logo and we're going to go under Static Resources. We're going to go ahead and create a brand new resource. We're going to name it. And we're going to go ahead and browse for it and we're going to make this public. Making it public is going to allow uh, the recipients of the payment request to see the logo in there. So now what we want to do is we want to download the sample Visual Force pages that Charge and Supplies and to do that we're going to go under Documents. You'll see a drop down uh, menu that says Charge and Payment Request for Order. Just click Go and it'll bring up the file that we need. For some browsers, if you click on View, it's going to pop up an automatic pop-up window that uh, allows you to download it. For other people, they may need to right-click on the link and choose Download, but we're going to go ahead and download that, uh, that zip file. Let's go ahead and open that up, and it's going to open up a folder that's going to have several different uh, sample pages for uh, success, cancel, fail, and payment request. So you want to use the ones that don't have the XML there. And we're going to need a text editor to uh, open that. And I'm going to go ahead and open that with text edit. We're going to start with the success page and we're going to copy the code. We're going to go into Salesforce and we're going to go under setup again. And we're going to go under the Visual Force pages settings. Let's go ahead and click new and we're going to call it success. We're going to erase the code that's in there and we're going to paste in the code that we just copied. So you're going to notice various areas in here where they have comments and this is going to tell your developer where they can actually make changes and customize it. We already uploaded the logo so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add that in here. We're going to remove everything from the resource dot up until the uh, the closing uh, parameters and we're going to erase that and we're going to go ahead and type in the name of our logo and we're going to go ahead and click save. You can preview the page and it's going to bring up a, a sample. It's going to show you the logo. It's going to show you success and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create those for uh, all the rest of them. The cancel, the fail, and finally at the end uh, payment request. You're going to do payment request at the very end because it references all the other three. Once you have all of your pages set up, um, we're going to go ahead and take a look here. We have the success, the cancel, the fail, and then the payment request. We're going to go ahead and move over to uh, setting up our site. You want to make sure before you set up the site that you do have a domain set up with Salesforce and you can set that up under the domain options in the, in the settings. I already have a payment request uh, set up here, but what I want to do is go ahead and show you everything that you need to create this. Uh, site label is going to be payment request, site name, payment request, site contact is going to be your name, and then you can always add uh, additional uh, information to re re reference the payment request in the URL. Um, you want to have your active site as payment request, and if you don't have anything in there, you can look it up. Just type in payment request, do a search, and it's at the very bottom. These should be automatically populated. You want to make sure that you have active checked, and then also require secure connections. And then you click Save. So what we want to do now is set up the Site Visual Force pages. So we're going to go ahead and edit this. And we're going to go ahead and add in all of the ones we just created. including the payment request 
and also going to include the uh, T-Charge and API helper. So these are all in there now and we go ahead, go ahead and click Save. And the next thing we want to do is assign the guest user license. So we're going to click on Public Access at the top, Assigned Users, click on the full name, uh, Site User, Guest, and scroll to the very bottom and then you're going to assign a license to either the charge and orders, opportunities, or cases, whichever one you have installed. Go ahead and click Add. And the last thing we want to do is uh, set the permission set for the assignments and we can click on Edit, choose the payment request options, save, and we're ready to add this to our charge and settings. So what we want to do next is go under Sites, and we want to copy the uh, site URL. And then we want to go under Charge and Settings, Advanced Settings, and we're going to paste that link right in here. Click Save, and you're ready to send payment requests. If you have any trouble at all, feel free to give us a call uh, or email support at appfrontier.com. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.